In this one, we have to be very careful about the subject. The subject of the first part is the term psychopath. So we're not talking about a person who is a psychopath. We're talking about the word. That's very important because in the second half of the sentence, for example, in prompt A, begins with it is someone who, or B, it is a person. The word is technically not a person. The word is something that refers to a person. So first of all, it is someone who, that doesn't describe a term. It is, some, it is a person, that doesn't describe the term. They are people who are. I love this. First of all, it's plural now. And second of all, I love the idea in psychology, they are people are who are, blah, 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 this idea of all the psychopaths walking around in psychology. That's just a scream to me. My therapist was a psychopath. He had trouble relating to me. I mean, it just is totally insane, answer choice C. Now we get to D and E, and these correctly phrase it as a term. It refers to someone who is. It is in reference to people. Now notice we have this contrast here. We have a word that appears in a verb form and a noun form. And of course, when it's in a verb form, it's more active and more direct. It refers to someone who is blah, blah, blah. Very direct, very clear. E, in the noun form, it's, it's indirect and awkward. It is in reference to people. And so this is a wordy, indirect, weak way of saying it, whereas D is a sleek, powerful way of saying the same thing. So D is by far the best answer choice.